What's up, Internet? My name is Mike Jones, and welcome to the Sportfolio Show. Hanging out with some cool dudes at Media Zone on Singer Island. Boys, introduce yourselves. Logan Morrison, uh, professional handicapper. <laughs> James Spencer, flamingoing. Yeah, you are flamingoing, sir. He has, a, he has a flamingo Duvin shirt on, but it's unbuttoned, so I'm calling him the peacock. But then I also want to change the actual saying of peacock to flamingoing because what's more peacocking than flamingoing? Especially here in Florida. I haven't seen a lot of peacocks. I see a lot of flamingos. Cheers to that. And you were eating some krill before this. <laughs> <laughs> Ironically, yes. He loves he loves bottom feeders. <laughs> oh, boys. Thank you so much for joining us on the Sportfolio Show today. It's Friday, so we're having some beers, some seltzers in the studio. And uh, we're continuing to build our sports networking platform and shoot the shit about sports every week here. Yeah, so I'm a man and I'm having a beer, but you two are having seltz. Just don't judge us. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, we uh, you know, we do live in Palm Beach County, so we do drink the that spike seltzer. This has electrolytes though, so I feel athletic today. Mm, and you're drunk. I I <laughs> could be correct. What time is it? Uh, awesome, good shit. Well, boys, I can't thank you enough for coming in the studio, and uh, I know we got a big week in sports. Who wants to uh, Who wants to kick it off? Anyone want to take the lead? Well, let's talk about the uh, the Lakers and the Heat. Oh, finals. Easy. It's over. That's how we talk about it. It's done. Everybody's hurt for the heat. Spolster, you're a great coach, but you can't out-coach greatness. James Davis, too good. By the way, um, there is an alpha dog bet on Barstool Sports. Uh, shameless. Well, it's not even like a plug because like <laughs> they're not paying me for it or whatever. But, like, dude, go take that alpha dog bet. Anthony it, Davis is going to score a billion points. A hundred, th- dude. They between him and LeBron, they put up sixty points the last two games. Yeah, but like, th- unless they're just like going to play, like, hey, LeBron, you score a lot tonight because like we're going to play games with them. Like Davis is going to out. Nobody can. Nobody can stop them. He he's inside out, the most dominant force in the game, and they're tiny. That lineup is so small, Agreed. and they're all and Bam's hurt. So like, they're done. Um, one nothing already and they're done they're done yeah they might be a gentleman sweep but it's going to be a sweep i'm saying sweep i mean in clean sweep can we just talk about the unibrow like you know well that's yeah i mean we just did that's the power it davis is. is yeah davis is the man not not him in general but just, just his, the brow his, his brow in general yeah well, it's yeah some, it's it's, it's, um, it's not my style but like listen i'm definitely betting on anthony davis so. game two tonight sure Ooh. So you think they're going to be like, hey, you put up 30 tonight, I'll I'll do the assisting? I think LeBron James just likes the like scoregami. Um he likes to hit all the he triple to triple double it. Mm. And like so like that's what he just he's going to do. So he's going to go he might go be like if there's like some random like combination of record like he might go like I'm going to get 33 points because nobody's ever gotten 33 points in game 2 of the finals with 15 assists with <laughs> 11 rebounds it's a lot of records yeah and, and like he knows all of it because he's like a student of the game he said it and so like he'll be the first to have those exact stats in game two <laughs> and he's super stoked that kevin durant got hurt this year in the bubble in the bubble yes never happened before in the bubble oh yeah that's a new uh, claim to fame well, lebron james will win the only final ever in the bubble mm. i don't want to say that because then the Democrats might. Oh, never mind. Um, <laughs> There'll be more bubbles. Don't you worry. We can keep blowing bubbles if we have to. <laughs> Love it, Mike. I actually don't know where they're playing. Do we know where the bubble is? Doesn't even really matter. No, it's Orlando. Orlando. Uh, oh, yeah, it's it? Orlando. Still. And uh, yeah, it hasn't changed for a couple months, but like, that's got to be terrible. I feel bad for those guys. <laughs> that's got to be awful. It's like prison. Yeah. You go uh, play for three hours and then you go back to the hotel. Sweet. <laughs> with, with your Instagram thought waiting for you. Oh, my gosh. Have you seen some of that leak stuff? By the way, Tyler Hero, you are my hero. Yes. yes. Everybody's. Um, That's really cool. Uh, second place isn't bad for your first year in the league. So, Cheers. But it's probably going to be second place again next year at the best-ish. Cause but still the hottest chick. I'm first place in the Instagram. Um, Bell total. Model total. Model total. Yes, he was, you, you win first place. He's going to get a fist bump from his old man next time he sees him. Well, the golden ribbon is in the mail, or we could just drive it down to you. You, you let us know. <laughs> we'll be down there at the bubble. Yeah. Well, I'll hit you up on the uh, tweeter later. 
Dude, I love it. And we might have to, like, you know, we love Barstool, but we might have to get some Sportfolio bet stuff happening here so you can do some shameless plugs for us. Yeah, well, that costs a lot of money. You got to get a sports book, so... <laughs> And, the intern can do that though. <laughs> yeah, and then we and then you got to go to a st- then you got to go to a, a a legal state to gamble in with a sports book, and I'm not sure Florida's one of them. So it's a whole thing. It is a thing yet. yet. Florida's not there yet. Yet, but they will be. They are progressive. Hey, weed's legal here now. I never thought that was going to happen. True. It it's is. It is legal here. Medically, or is it? it oh. Yeah, it's not for recreation. This is a sports show, guys. So let's keep talking Back about to sports. That. <laughs> yeah, no more recreation. Back to sports. Let's move it over to the uh, the MLB, huh, boys? Mm, sure, if you want. Do you guys want to talk about baseball? Not really. Who cares about baseball? I don't. All right. <laughs> Next. <laughs> Moving on. No. Next. <laughs> so I did see that golf. The purse for golf was six point six million. But I looked at the lineup, and there's nobody, no, no, like no names in there, and uh, so that sucks. What is it like a new tour yeah. event or something? Yeah, new tour event, but no, like we talked about, no major champions. Yeah. Um. Real quick, I the least what I care about least other than golf is uh well, I care about baseball like a tad bit more than golf, so I'm gonna go back to baseball real quick. Uh, <laughs> Rays Dodgers World Series. That's what's going to happen. And then I would say because the Dodgers need somebody else to blame or something else to blame, um, Rays win the World Series. I'd love to see that. Yeah, I think that's what's going to happen. It's going to be like, oh, the money ball, like Friedman, like his old spot with the GMs. and the. I'm telling you, guys, bet on it. I don't know if you can. Tampa's going to come out of the American League uh, 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 side of it, and LA's coming out of the National League. I like that. The Marlins will beat the Cubs, too. Is that going on right now? That's just uh, there, currently there was, going on. Yeah, there was a it game. It is actually, there yeah. There was a game, yeah. Yeah, Marlins, Watch. Cubs. The, scores, the score is going to be not that way. And I, I'll, I, want, I want you to touch on the uh, the cards and the Padres, too. Ooh. Um, love, love Fernando Tatis. If you started, this is because his of his youth. If you start one, if you start your organization with one player and his position, um, and how he hits and everything else. Pretty much he's a complete player. I'm taking that guy first overall um, to play for me at shortstop every single day. Got to find a way to keep him healthy, though. Athlete. Unless you're Spence, who auto-drafts everything in his sporting world. Well, dude, bro, that's why you just told me that you like, oh, this is going to be the year I'm going to do it in fantasy football. That's why you stink at I fantasy football. I say that football. every year, though. <laughs> but you auto <laughs> said that last year, too, I remember. <laughs> Busy guy over here, all right? No, I, I, I don't. I don't. uh yeah, I mean, I, I'm right there with you. I I, I accidentally auto draft. I think I've I've been sitting in the same room with you two years in a row where your NFL teams were auto drafted for you, and it's weird. I'm two and one though. It's I'm doing all right. Oh, so, okay. Yeah. yeah, we're doing all right, boys. Hey, you can work with those numbers every week. Can we get a producer in here so I don't have to look up this stuff and other people can do this? Isn't this what? It's the job of the intern. Yeah, our, our intern Rob Stokes. Oh, um, top six. Mm-hmm, this is exactly what I thought was going to happen. Top six. It's not top six, zero to zero. Um, the winner of this moves on. Um, Marlins will win this because their bullpen is much better than the, the Cubs. Cubbies. So yeah, that's what's going to happen. Um, I'm going to, cause he's my boy. No other reason. Monte Harrison does something cool to help win the game. Oh, I thought, I thought you were going to talk about Joe. Did, did you, Joe Burrow? Did, did Joe coach? No. Was Joe in Tampa Bay with back no. in the day with you? Joe Madden? No, no, no. Yeah, he was before me. Joe's cool though. I like Joe. Okay. He's a good guy. Yeah. Yeah. We we're big fans of the Rays here. We uh we grew up in Sarasota, so Bucks and Rays were kind of our team. Who's the manager up. of the Rays right now? It's a great question. <laughs> <laughs> big fans, Kevin Cash. Uh, all right. <laughs> big fans growing up. Now we live in Palm Beach County. And so we, now you're fans of the Jupiter Hammerheads. Uh, you could say not that. Okay. Is that the Marlins? Yeah, Marlins um, farm team, hi A. I like it. Mm-hmm. Although, being in Jacksonville, baby, oh. the Jacksonville Shrimp, the ba- oh, former, the, formerly yeah. the Suns, now they're the Shrimps. Yeah, baseball was never hotter when it was the Jacksonville, Jacksonville Suns. Suns. No doubt, I like it. Yeah, <laughs> that was a great theme song. <laughs> yeah, we did a lot baseball's of baseball's never been hotter. Baseball's never been better. Baseball's never been hotter. The Jacksonville Suns. Isn't that right? Oh, yeah. That was actually verbatim. On key. On key as well. That was like a long time ago. That was like 2008. Nine. Yeah. 11 years ago. 
It was fun. It smells like coffee down there in downtown Jacksonville. Do you remember Ooh, that? Yes, it does. The it Folgers. Will, uh, yeah, the it's better than having um, a sewer next to your field for sure. <laughs> Definitely. Um, and downtown. Sure. <laughs> there's a lot worse smells I've smelt in downtowns than Folgers coffee. I can tell you that. Also, fun fact about Jacksonville to the intranet. Um, hurricanes, people are scared of it, might not want to move to Florida because of it. Uh, there is a natural barrier that Jacksonville has, warms the water up, and shoes hurricanes away. So you're welcome for that fun fact of the day. Not sport-related, but kind of maybe if we're playing a football game and the hurricane might be coming, but wait, oh, it's not, take the over. Take the over. Always. It always scoops up to the Carolinas. Life's too short, take the over. And the weather, baby. We're used to the heat and the rain. Up north, they ain't. Yeah, it's brutal playing sports in Florida, though. I remember growing up as a kid and just being in your football helmet, just feeling the steam come out. It's something different here in the summers, Mm -hmm. no doubt. Mm -hmm. So I think all of us, we've all played a little bit of sports here in Florida, some at a higher level than others. But uh, I'm glad that you wanted to touch on yeah, a little bit of baseball. You made it to like high school today. in like croquet or something, right? Uh, professional croquet, yes. Yeah. Perfect. And actually, Palm Beach has the top croquet team in the nation. That's fantastic. So it's basically, um, but once they <laughs> once they like dominate that for two years, they then go to the horses to try croquet on horses with polo, right? Or badminton. Badminton. Mm-hmm. Um, pickleball is now a new thing it's the, the it's the largest growing sport in the u.s right I'm now telling you. <laughs> let's open up a pickleball place here but it's got to be indoors because you know air-conditioned people want to sweat yeah, yeah. you know it's not even athletic at that point pickleball <laughs> i scraped my knee up one time trying to be my cousin <laughs> she was 13 but whatever i beat her hey shut her who's boss Dude. had to and they got a good sport or a good court out in venice california oh for pickleball yeah oh yeah that's really far away from here but it's close Oh, I did see that on on ESPN, the Ocho. Yes. El Ocho. (laughs) El Ocho, yes. Oh, that's killer. All right, so moving on to the Thursday night game. We had the Broncos and the Jets. Uh Uh-oh. That was last night. Yep. So, um, not going to like toot my own horn, but I won money on that game. Uh, Broncos plus one. I was like, what? That is like a steal. I know, short week going in, road team. Bro, Adam Gase is their head coach. Hmm. Never bet a never have they covered a spread since Adam? Can we check that? Has Adam Gase ever covered a spread in his coaching career? Because I'm pretty sure it hasn't happened. Hey Rob, check on that. Yeah, will you, Rob? Thanks, Rob. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, you feel bad for Sam Darnold though because he had a lot of promise coming out and did not know Sam Darnold was that athletic. That was cool shit stuff. Fortunately, he yeah. is my fantasy quarterback. So. Uh... <laughs> Or unfortunately, or, or, or unfortunately, <laughs> what what computer auto drafted him to be your <laughs> fantasy quarterback? That's Yahoo terrible. Sports, baby. Oh, that's not good. Not ESPN though. Yeah, what did it take a kicker first overall for you? <laughs> Second round. <laughs> oh, yeah, well, you need a good kicker on your fantasy though. From time to time, sure. Yeah, it's um, it, it's interesting to see the the New York Jets don't really. I thought the Jags had the number one pick locked in. And I think the Jets are giving them a run for their money right now. Uh, yeah, because the Jags were like, yeah, the Jags are definitely trying to tank, and then they beat the Colts, and I lost money on that. So thanks a lot, Jags. Um, mm. What do you have on the Jags this week, Loma? Uh, they're going to lose. They are favored plus two and a half. I'm not sure. So I don't love that two and a half number, but Joe Burrow is getting his first win. Um, I, it's a home, it. I love the LSU Tigers, and I love Joe. Um, dude's super talented. That team's terrible. No offensive line. Uh, like they have AJ green, but like coming off Achilles surgery, no one really knows if he's any good. He's or not. not quick anymore. Dude is dropping bombs, um, and dimes. Um, really, really impressed with Joe, uh, this young in his career. Uh, Gardner Minshew's not terrible either. Um, what but, do you think about his mustache, bro? But there's just, I feel like the Jaguars are going this way and the Bengals are going this way. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? You know what I mean? So therefore, uh, I'm taking the Bengals to win that game. Uh, if I had to bet, I would say money line, but I'm not going to bet on that game. That's not one of my favorites. Um, but take the stinking over in that game. I mean, that's a, that's not my mortal lock, but like, that's my lock. So is Joe Burrow going to like grab a cigar after the game and at home when he wins his first? No, no, no. He only, he doesn't. No. Nah. He's going to be like, yeah, cool, we won a game. Because that was pretty big pimping. 
you know, oh, was, yeah. yeah, but that was a national championship. Like, if he does that, you in deserve Super Bowl, that. Yeah, you yeah, deserve yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Does a Super Bowl, he'll do that. You know what I mean? Grab a stogie. Yeah. I actually saw the most funny Arnold Schwarzenegger stogie video. Do you remember that one where he's like, "You have to ask for permission to smoke a stogie. I smoke stogies wherever I want." Like, it's just so alpha back in the day. Is that a pumping iron video? I don't remember that actually, but I that sounds really cool. And if you did the voice, because I know you can do it, then it'd be Uh-oh. cooler. Wow. Ooh. I know. I have to wear... Um, a, Get to the chopper. Get down. Get down. I should have worn my stringlet, you know? Ooh. Now and you're talking. Then I would have been able to do it. Showing skin for the win. If somebody has to do it. What else you got for NFL this week? All right. So I'm going to run through all the games, if you guys don't mind. Let's do it. All right. Uh, notepad. I know we're in a Can I grab me a beer while here. we wait, or are you good? Poor, what do you want to run? Yeah. I'll get you a beer. Just grab me a beer. Just TBC. Rob to get it. TBC. Yeah, part. Rob, will you? All right, so these are on record. Uh, we can go back and look at these about how good um, they were um, next week because it's going to happen. I got, listen, if you don't take the bear, like you don't ever want to do like the, a double on a game. You don't want to double bet. You don't want to bet a team and then bet an over or an under. I agree. So that's what I'm going to do in my first bet ever is going to do that. It's, you don't want to do it. I'm but doing you're it. You're going to. I'm doing it. And when you win. Everybody's going to be like, whoa, this guy's a genius. <laughs> so that's what I'm doing. Um, the coastline, please. And don't worry, guys. I was sober when I highlighted these. Uh, Bears at home plus two and a half. If you don't take Big Dick Nick, you're crazy. The over 43 will also hit because Nick is going to drop dimes and the Colts will be able to move the ball a little bit. Bears defense is pretty good, but I like the over at 43. I love plus two and a half Bears at home against like the Colts. Soldier Field. So then now... Um, Phil Rivers are, isn't happy with you, though. Phil Rivers has 17 kids. He don't care about me. <laughs> um, Browns plus four and a half at Cowboys. Uh, over is 56. I love the over. And this is going to be like what? Browns first half. Take Browns first half. Uh, the Cowboys always start out slow. They've never started out. I've never seen them in the lead in the first half. Has it ever happened? Since Dak Prescott has been quarterback the last six year, five years, Four years, has has they, have they ever led at halftime? No, I was stat check. The Rob, last... no, never happened. Okay, thanks, Rob. Um, uh, love the over at uh, fifty six. Take the Browns first half. Um, these are like, I these love the locks. over at fifty six. Yeah, I love the over locks. at fifty six. Not all these are locks, but like the over at forty nine. Jag Cincy. I like that bet. I love Bears plus two and a half. I like the over forty three in that game of the Bears and Colts, uh, but. Not a lock. I'll Not give lock. you my lock. I'll give you my lock. Okay. Um, all right. And, uh, over 56 with the Bears Brown or Bears Cowboys. Um, plus four and a half. Yeah, take the Browns in the first half. Um, it's gonna be a score fest. Nobody can nobody can stop anybody in that. It's like it's like a highway, just cars up and down. Just that's what the offense is gonna do all day long at the big Jerry Dome. Uh Jerry's World. Okay, Minnesota at Texans plus three and a half. The Vikings are giving three and a half, and the over is fifty three. Um yeah, I'd stay away from this game. Um both teams are 0 three. I think the Texans are terrible. Terrible. But like the Vikings can't they actually cannot stop my grandma from scoring right now. So <laughs> um I th- take the over at fifty three and a half. You gotta make a bet on this. Um, or take the Texans or take the Vikings plus three and a half because it might be like a one point game. Like, I don't know. Like, that's just a just take the over 53 and a half. Okay. Seahawks and uh, Dolphins. Listen, Ooh. listen, listen. Dolphins plus six. That's a crazy, that's a crazy spread number. Seahawks can't stop anybody. Fitz Magic is going nuts right now. It's 87 degrees in Miami. There's nothing there. The over also love the uh, love the over. Not my lock. Love the over. Take the Dolphins plus six. Moving on. Chargers at Bucks over forty two and a half. Um, dude. I mean, <laughs> Tammy but, Brady. Yeah, the both defenses are good. Tammy. Um, it's a forty two and a half. I mean, I'm staying away from the over, but I'm going Bucks minus seven. Um, defense for the Bucks is for real. I don't think the Chargers are going to be able to move the ball. They they got a little bit of film on Herbert now. Herbert's he's okay. I mean, he's he's had 300 yards passing the last his first two games, but like, I mean, come on. They played the freaking Panthers and the Panthers de- defense is terrible. I'm pretty sure that the Panthers defense hasn't um stopped anybody's grandma either. And then um yeah, so then the interstate rivalry, everybody's looking forward to this 
matchup, the Ravens and the Washington football team. Ooh. I know you're going to say the R word. You're not allowed. And then, so I'm going to go. We'll uh, censor that. Rob, can you censor that? Please, Rob. Yeah. I didn't mean you. <laughs> um, I'm going to go with Ravens minus 14. And I'm going to stay away. I'm going to, well, if I had to give you a, an over under pick, I'm going to go under the 45, five and a half. Uh, because Washington's not going to score anything. They're mad because the Chiefs just booty whooped them. Um, they're going to run out the score. Washington is not good. They're not good. Dwayne Haskins is terrible. He'll get benched in this game. We might see Alex Smith. Um, that'd be cool, but also don't get him hurt. So, again, um, you saw that? You saw the injury? Oh, yeah. Oh, God. It was terrible. Okay. It's one of the worst ones ever, dude. Terrible. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's uh, like RG3s. Mm, no. But oh. like how? <laughs> he had like 17 surgeries, Alex, missing like a calf. No, no, I'm not saying that. I'm uh, more just like, hey, Washington sucks. They're terrible. Yeah. Yes. And yes, they're terrible. They're not good. Um, but like I think Ron Rivera is a good coach. But like it's gonna take a while. <laughs> it's gonna take but he's going he's got chemo, dude. I mean, like it's just like it's just crazy. Um, all right, so Pats at Chiefs, minus seven Chiefs. Um, the defense is for real. People like don't talk about the Chiefs defense because like uh, Pat Mahomes and he does crazy fake jump throws to stall like the blitzing guy and he runs out the other side and throws a cool like Pat Mahomes is great we get it right we do the Chiefs defense since week 11 last year I'm not sh- check the stat Rob best defense in the NFL what do you say Rob so I'm least, going least points allowed see? number one rushing <laughs> defense see? there you go there's Rob uh, so Chiefs minus seven listen they just got a warm up too with a far more proven high potent offense in the Ravens with the same style, right? Like read option, Cam Newton, more of a fullback versus like Lamar, make you miss score or go on a 60 yard run type deal. But they just had the same style of offense. They played against take the under at 52 and a half. It's at arrowhead. It's a four four twenty five game. <laughs> Cam ain't ready for this defense. Mahomes. Oh, they're going to play man to man the majority of the time they're going to blitz him all the time. Like it's fine. He'll figure it out. Take the under chiefs win 42, 10. I mean, good call. What's your thoughts about Harbaugh after that, that game saying um, they're a better team. Sometimes coaches will say they played better than us that day, or we were out coached. He came out and said the chiefs are a better team. And he got a little bit of heat threw his team under the bus a little bit there. Uh, I think Jim Harbaugh is a good coach. I don't probably think he meant it in any will, ill will or towards his team or anything, but factually he is correct. Hey, the Chiefs are better than the Ravens. There's no flaw in the Ravens. This is Callan Cowherd. There's no flaw in the Ravens roster. They're not gonna lose. They're the best team I've ever seen. Bah, bah, ah, ah, ah. Dude, it takes one player to be great. And they have one at quarterback on the Chiefs, and they put up forty-two stinking points, and like that, or thirty points, and that close. That score wasn't even like that close. Like it was a, it was a, a kickoff return for a touchdown. It was a fourth and one at the fifty. We went for and didn't get because we were just had our booties. I might be a homer, Chiefs. Chiefs. <laughs> uh, might, <laughs> uh, but like, but like, here's the thing: like, they're a better team. So they're a better team. Call a spade a spade. They won the Super Bowl last year, right? They're going to win it this year, too. That was my team. You know how many times they stepped on the field against the Ravens and beat them, like, booty whipped them convincingly? Like, every single time they played them since Lamar's been quarterback. I like the I like the odds. So, anyways, all right, so this is my lock. Lock, lock it in. Bet your house on it. Bet your house's house is on it. Um, I'm trying to get a house in the water, so literally I have put my family (laughs) up for auction. Uh, Sorry, kids. (laughs) Sorry, guys. But, like, I'm sure that you'll find a great home. Uh, just kidding. Uh, Bills minus three at the Raiders. Bills are a way better coach team. They're on a mission this year. They're going to win their first AFC East crown. They think that they're going to the uh, Super Bowl, but like they have the best team in the history of the sport in that division, which stinks for them. But the Bills will win this game convincingly. Uh, I'm not even sure what the over is, but like it's probably 52 ish. Um, I'm going to stay away from that because the Raiders might not score that. Bills defense is okay. And, uh, yeah, Bills all day. All day, minus three. Lock it in. Yep. Eagles, Eagles, Niners. Listen, the Eagles, the, the Niners are giving seven points to the Eagles, and the Eagles are terrible. I get it. I do understand that. 
They're a little beat up. Um, but the 49ers might as well be the 29ers. They have every starter hurt. Every starter is hurt for the Niners. Their quarterback is not like, and he's okay. The backup's good, right? But like, let's like, you know, let's just keep it. So I'm going to go with the Eagles plus seven. I'm not saying the Niners lose the game, but Eagles plus seven. And then uh, Falcons Packers Monday night, take the stinking over. Got take you. the over. It might be 70 points. Take the over. It's oh, you know what it is? It's 56 and a half. Wrote it down. Take the over because the score is going to be 35 to 52. Packers win. I'm telling you. The the Falcons can't stop anybody, and the Falcons have a decent offense. They'll put up garbage points. Take the over, take the over, take the over. My two locks, Bills all day. Take the over with the uh, Monday night with uh, the Falcons Packers. I like it, bro. And Aaron Rodgers is on a mission this year. Revenge Tour 2020. Actually, Anger Tour because they drafted a replacement quarterback. And his girl and him. Olivia Wilde. Danica. Oh, Danica. Yeah. Forgot about I thought she was. Never mind. Yeah. Yeah. Done. So, and he's been doing appearances on Pat McAfee show, which is really cool because usually the Packers are sort of like a reserve team. You don't do the media appearances. And this year he's kind of just like, I'm fucking out there. Because they drafted a quarterback in the first round. He's like, oh, really? Okay. Well, watch this. Now I'm going to be the best player ever. And drink whiskey with fucking Pat McAfee on ESPN like Radio. Kenny Power says, baby, you're fucking out. You're out. Later. <laughs> It'll be interesting to see. He's gone next year, right? Like, he, there's no way. Only I don't time know what will tell. contract situation is, to be honest with you, but I'm pretty sure that he has a couple. I think he has three more years under contract, and then they will assume that Love will want to take over. But if Rogers like, I'm not retiring, I'm not sure they let Rogers go. Because, like, he might have a, well, He'll have a couple more Super Bowl appearances under his belt, but like again, you have greatness in the AFC, so I'm not sure they went. Like literally, do you guys know what's gonna happen? I'm just gonna break this down for Chiefs, you. Chiefs, what? Take the, <laughs> if you wanna, yeah, the Chiefs will win the Super Bowl this year if they stay healthy. Which I mean, Chris Jones on the defense has to stay healthy. Tyron Matthew has to stay healthy in the defense. Everybody else probably could get hurt. Um, and then the Honey Badger. Yeah, yeah, exactly. No, like he coaches them all. Like he's like the coach of the coach. Like I'm telling you, that works. Yeah, yeah. it's been insane. Frank Clark also very good player. Wow, That's my dog five five. Yeah, yeah. Don't jump off sides. Um, and then you got uh, who's the other guy? Uh, who's the running back? That oh, they Pat Mahomes and Clyde Edwards. Either. Yeah, Clyde. Mm-hmm. Old Rob Stokes actually on episode one was yeah. shouting that out. I, I gotta he, tell you that Brett Veach, who is the intern, the GM of the Chiefs, is like he's probably the best evaluator of talent of all time. Like Tyreek Hill, like you don't talk like yes, I get it that like Mahomes gets all the credit because he's the quarterback, but like Tyreek Hill goes and runs down balls for him that like not a lot of other people could do. True, the guy is like five eight and somehow jumps out, jumps over every cornerback. In athlete, Un- insane athlete. Well, go watch that guy do a a, a hamstring. Uh, Eccentric drawdown. What do you, you know when they, when they put your their hands on your ankles and you got to go like really slow? Yeah, he does that. It's really like a dance well. move. Like five of them. It's like a dance move, bro. And yeah, pretty cool. Pretty cool stuff. Well, uh, Lomo requested a green screen for next week, so um, yeah, we're I we're calling the, we're calling the team in. Do uh, the graphics and the green screen team are coming? And in. also, I'm gonna need you guys to have picks in the NFL because like I can't just be picking by myself. But like, can we have film of this and then like show how bad these were next week? Uh yeah, we can definitely recap. Yeah, let me call Roger Goodell and ask for rights to show some NFL footage on the Sportfolio show real quick. You know what I also think? Um, <laughs> maybe I, we should get like some highlights going to get my juices flowing over Ooh, here. That's easy. That's yeah. easy. Yeah. Well, the, the porn is really distracting. It's hard when like you see the tits over there the whole time. <laughs> yeah, I gave you the, the other the other two um, major sports winners in the uh, in the U.S. So you can just knock those off the screen. Maybe. <laughs> yeah. Perfect. I mean, Lakers raised, like we don't have to worry about that anymore. And then you just go to the <laughs> NFL. That's actually NFL. easy. Yeah. Well, boys, I can't thank you enough for joining us on the Sportfolio show today. Any uh, closing words? Or are we good to wrap it up? It's the land of the free and the home of the Chiefs. There it is. Boys. Cheers. To me. You.